Sonic 3. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with this one either. Uh, <laughs> it's another one my cousin had. He, he had a complete set of uh, Sonic games. <laughs> and I guess I do now. Uh, he no longer has his uh, Sega stuff, so... Uh, it's not complete, though, this one. He, uh, it's also got some cracking, so... I'll be on the lookout for uh, donor cases for this one to put the insert into. Yeah, here we have the infamous Sonic and Knuckles. one uh, the lock on technology <laughs> now, this one's complete uh, let's see here cardboard's in terrible condition but you know that's what happens to cardboard uh, I'm seeing some of them they're missing the uh, little top cover here but this one's got it on there and the uh, instruction manuals inside Not as easy to get at the instruction manual uh, in these things and in, in the uh, original clamshells. <laughs> well, you know, a decent uh, title in its own right. Uh, I mean, it's not as good as some of the other ones. Uh, it's real uh, ticket to fame is that lock-on technology. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Sega, you know, it, we were coming to the end of its life cycle with the Genesis and... Uh, and they started skimping on uh, cases for some reason. I've known a few people that uh, uh, work in plastics manufacturing, and uh, a plastic case, you know, the the biggest cost is the the mold that itself, the uh, machine that builds the uh, the uh, plastic item in question. You know, once you've gotten past that cost and uh, the cost of material, we're talking you know pennies a pennies a case here we have the the ooze <laughs> It's an interesting game. Uh, not the greatest game, uh, you know. But I, 
you know, I'm still uh, going to go, you know, play through this. You can see right here, uh, uh, this is a Blockbuster sticker. <laughs> um, you know, I just uh, recommended to Syphic that he use a hairdryer to get stickers off. What do I do? I, I, uh, <laughs> I peel it off myself uh, with uh, alcohol and... I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I should follow my own advice. Uh, and I should have used a I should have used a hair dryer on that to uh, warm it up, the you know the glue, and uh, carefully peel it off. Yeah, I must have been impatient, or I didn't want to get up, or something. Uh, this one doesn't have a manual though, but the uh, cart's in pretty good shape. I was at a Valley Village. I found uh, a couple titles here. Uh, yeah, these are like uh, was it after taxes, uh, uh, prices I get at Valley Village is um, it's about seven. Like I think it's like six forty-two after taxes. Yeah. And I got uh, Devil May Cry three. I've never actually played uh, any of the Devil May Cry games. Um, what was that, what I heard? Uh, Devil May Cry 3 is better than Devil May Cry 2, but not as good as the original one. And I'm not too sure about 4, I haven't heard much about that. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it, the controls are good. Uh, not fond of the camera. The the uh, camera positioning is uh, uh, I like the camera positioning in uh, God of War better. That seemed to flow better than uh, what they did with the camera in this one here. It's uh, Halo Two here. Yeah, bit of wear off the insert here. The case has a few scuffs here and there, but and. Uh, it's sort of complete, but uh, here, I'll, I'll show it to you. Yeah, it's, uh, it has a manual, an excellent looking uh, manual, but there's a uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 in here. <laughs> disappointed but uh, yeah at least uh, the game they did in here is a uh, is a decent one <laughs> I played this uh, quite a bit on uh, PC originally yeah that was back when I was uh, PC gaming mostly yeah it's a nice upgrade over the um, the original PlayStation 2 version oh and if you're wondering how um, why I bought uh, Halo 2 with a uh, 
uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 inside is that the uh, Valley Village I was at had uh, their games in plastic bags and uh, I was able to you know basically uh, you know, open the the case and I could see that there was a disc inside but I couldn't open it wide enough to, to see if it was Halo 2. I just assumed it was. If you hadn't noticed already from the last episode, uh, I um, I didn't announce it, but I got uh, uh, some Xboxes. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't. Uh, I had some Xbox games, uh, and I was wondering how am I going to, you know, maintain the, that standard I set where I show a little gameplay sample. <laughs> but uh, luckily, uh, a couple ones uh, showed up in uh, charity shops at a good price. Um, I guess I'll start with the one I got first. This one was, uh, I can peel that off now, I guess. Got that for 12 bucks. Let's see, four controllers, but um, only one of them was uh, uh, not that. Well, only one of them was uh, wasn't worn out. Um, something common with all of them was uh, a lot of. A lot of twists in the uh, cords here. That's what was. That's the thing, you know. You can bend the cord, but you don't want to twist the cords because they'll. Uh, you twist them enough, eventually they'll snap off. So. Yeah, bad, uh, bad-looking controllers, but it came with um, the uh, HD uh, component uh, output for the Xbox. I actually had a guy, he was um, selling one on Craigslist for $30. Uh, the one I had, uh, uh, the listing I had applied to, he, it said $5. And then, um, and I, you know, call him up and he's like, oh, no, no, that's uh, the regular one. That, that was $5. And this one's 30 and And I was like, wow, you know, I, <laughs> I know I have $30 for that. Uh, you know, and I told him about his, uh, his bad listing, but it's still up there, so I, he's a bit of a weasel, that guy, I think. <laughs> or an incompetent, you can't take down his old listing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad I didn't buy that uh, uh, output unit, because I got this, you know, included in the whole package for 12 bucks. <laughs> yeah, the uh, one I got for $12 is actually modded. It's got... Uh, Custom software, emulators, uh, some ROMs on here too. It's already uh, set up for Halo 1. Uh, it's a Halo 1 software modded already, so that's ready to go. And this one came all by its lonesome, um, uh, but it's in uh, better shape and a bit cleaner. And the DVD tray actually, uh, well, the driver actually works. Yeah, so I saw this one at the uh, charity shop I bought the Genesis games from. It was uh, $10 when I originally went there. I passed on it and then uh, yeah, then I went back and they had uh, basically cut the price in half so you know five bucks whole Xbox that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah so over my plans for the uh, system linking and uh, multi-link uh, Halo setup is uh, it's coming along pretty good. I'll have enough uh, have enough here for at least two players to have uh, separate screens. <laughs> There's the end of the video. Yeah, I went back to that same Valley Village, and sure enough, uh, there's the last one, Leonardo. <laughs> I'll get them all cleaned up, and then I'll show all four of them at the same time uh, in the next video. Well, see you later.